Nintendo really messed up with the latest Animal Crossing game. They forgot to add the most important thing in any game. A gun! As I am a very experienced and knowledgeable game dev, I feel like it's my responsibility to give little old Nintendo a helping hand. The first thing I gotta do is get my grubby hands on the Animal Crossing character models. Luckily, I know this secret website where I can download them very legally for the low, low price of zero pounds. Um, let's see, who do we have here? I think I have to have Tom Nook in the game. That's a no-brainer, really. I'll also grab Isabel too for now because she's a really important character as well. Next, let's just quickly set up an FPS project in Unreal Engine to use as a base for the project. Unreal has a bunch of templates to get you going fast, so I'll use one of those so I can skip some things like setting up a basic character controller. One thing I think we need for this to be a compelling shooter experience is a copious amount of blood and gore. Like, if people aren't saying, uh, that's a lot of blood, then I probably haven't put enough in. To get started, I use this thing Unreal has called Apex Destruction. It lets you break up a model into a bunch of smaller pieces. I did this to our Tom Nook model and then set the model to use this gory texture to make it look like a bunch of small Tom Nook chunks. A bunch of yummy, yummy nooky chunks. I think that looks all right, but it could be improved a bit. Maybe if we add a couple of particle effects, we can really sell this effect. There are three effects I wanna get in. Some little blood trails that follow the chunks of Tom Nook, a blood explosion at the point where the bullet hits, and finally, a big blood splatter on the floor. Setting these up was fairly straightforward because I just downloaded an asset pack I already had and took them from there. Then just hooked them up to my Tom Nook character with some quick code. So I may have just forgotten about everything I was doing and got a little bit sidetracked just playing around shooting Tom Nook for a few hours. Uh, so let's pretend that massive waste of time didn't happen and take it as a positive sign that this FPS is going somewhere good. Now we have the gore explosion set up, I think I need to get the villagers moving around a little bit. Unfortunately, the models didn't come with any animations, which is a big L for my favorite and very legal game model site. This means I'm gonna have to do the animation myself. And let me tell you, I'm not exactly what people might describe as a competent animator. In fact, I've been told I'm f***ing incompetent by many, 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 many people. The thing is, you can't let what other people say knock you down. So I'm gonna animate the hell out of these models anyway, and it'll be beautiful, probably. That looks good, right? Right? Well, whatever. It's the best I could do, so I'm using them anyway. Now we have the animations, I'm gonna set up a very clever AI system so that the villagers attack me with deep strats and big brain moves. Or at least I'll do the bare minimum and see what I can get away with. Using blueprints, I got Tom Nook to walk towards you menacingly and I gave him a knife too to make sure that you know he has bad intentions. And that's the extent of the AI I'm gonna make because sometimes simple is best. Now, I want to make this into more of a game rather than just a Tom Nook murder sim. So I'm gonna have to create some sort of game mode. What makes sense to me is a horde style game mode as it kind of fits with the vibes of what I've made so far. For that, I need to make a spawning system for the villagers, a timer so you know how well you've done and a death screen UI for when you inevitably get murdered. For the enemy spawner, I'll make it so they spawn within a radius of the player's location. So there is some constant pressure for you. I'm also gonna make it so as time passes, the game gets harder and harder, so it doesn't get boring at all. I also need to make sure that the villagers don't spawn directly in front of you because that would kind of ruin the immersion. Here's the blueprint for the spawn system. Not too complicated in the end, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it works. We now have the basics down and it's already great fun to play. But before I release it, I want to polish up a bit and add some fun extras. Let's work on the map first. I think it should feel a bit more horror-y. I'll convert the current map to a night scene. And I'm gonna add some moody fog to get those classic spooky vibes. These changes are pretty good, but I'm gonna add in a few small lights to really pump up the atmosphere and also make sure that you can see reasonably well in the darker spots of the map. I've also been wanting to add a little bit of story to the game. 
This is what I'm thinking. You are a confused and very much normal human person. And you arrive on an island where you are greeted by Copper, the dog cop. He tells you something bad's gone down and he gives you your gun. You then proceed up to the lighthouse and knock on the door. A blood curdling scream of the zombie villagers follows, signaling that now is in fact danger time. You then shoot some bad guys and die horribly. I'll have to go back to our favorite website and download a nice model of copper for my narrative. I'll just put him in the game and then quickly put together a very simple conversation system so he can deliver all the important dialogue to you. I'll copy the dialogue UI from the main game so that it does actually feel like a proper Animal Crossing experience. And there we have it, an Animal Crossing game with a gun in it. Take notes, Nintendo, I know you're watching this. There is, however, one big problem. I'd really like to put this game out so you can all play it. But the thing is, I kinda don't really want to be sued by Big Nintendo. So I think my only option is to go through the game and swap out all the Animal Crossing assets with my own custom one, which will probably be a big pain in the ass, but it'll be worth it so I don't get murdered by Nintendo's secret assassins. I'll start by swapping out the villagers with these birdie boys I modeled, which just happen to have similar proportions to the Animal Crossing characters. I think after that, all that's left is to update the UI and come up with a clever new name for the game. Hmm, how about... Zombie Crossing Nightfall. Yep, I think that's it. That's a very clever, creative, and dare I say it, original title. So there you have it. This is how I made the best, not quite Animal Crossing zombie murder game that's ever been made. At least, I'm assuming so. I haven't actually seen any others and I'm not about to spend five precious minutes of my life searching for them. Also, I've uploaded the game to Itch, so check the link in the description and go play it right now. Then leave a very positive review and comment so I can have nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. Also, remember, subscribe or burn your house down. See you later, losers.